In this video I'll be taking a look at the Windows 8 Developer Preview. Microsoft just released this as a free download so you can test out Windows 8. It's a very early version but it still works. So here it is. Um, so here's this new interface. So the first thing you're presented with is this new interface. Um, it's a sort of tile based system, a bit like Windows Phone. Which shows that they're really gearing this up for touch screens. Which is good and bad. It's good, you know, it'll make a way for good Windows tablets to be able to run all your applications on them. However, the big problem is that they've done this too much. They've made it so touch based, it sort of spoils the experience for when you're using a mouse. So I'm obviously using a mouse and run this as a dual boot on my laptop. Installed quite well, you just install it onto a separate partition and it sets up a dual boot with your current Windows installation automatically. However, a slight flaw is that you have to boot up Windows 8 Developer Preview before you can tell it to switch into Windows 7, which is a bit of a pain, but it takes so long to actually get into Windows 7 if you want to. So here it is, and this is a new tile interface, and you have to scroll on the bottom here to access all the stuff grouped into here, so that's some of the stuff there. So scroll back along here, and you can also go to the desktop interface, so that seems like, well that's fine, we can use desktop interface. So if you press that, you think, great, we're back into Windows 7, no, or you know, like Windows 7, no problem, you can use this just like a normal computer. But if you say that, you'll be you'll be wrong, because you can't. So also you've got these icons here, like Explorer, which they have made some nice changes to. For example, they've, got, they've sort of put the ribbon interface across into it, so you can do that, you've got all your stuff in here. You can also mount ISO files directly through Explorer, which is a really nice feature. What they've also done is up here with the window control button things, they've almost made them sort of square, which I actually think, I actually like the look of. I'm comparing it to Windows 7 on my PC next to me, and I like the way it sort of changes as well, it just looks a bit better, I don't know why, it just, I think it's because it's newer and it just looks different, it's nice. Um, they've also, they've made quite a few changes, they've also like centred the title here, which also looks quite nice. So I like that. However, that's, that's minor compared to the problems this has. For example, you see your start menu down here, now this, you think, oh, start menu, I can do everything I want. But if you go over it, this is all you get. Settings, Devices, Share and Search. Settings comes up over here, providing some basic settings, pretty useful. Devices, which is projection, play to project, it should say projector, but allows you to sort of adjust different displays. Share, which some sort of sharing system, and Search, which searches apps. However, if you were to actually press Start to get into your apps, you're taking back this interface. So if you just think I'm using this system like normal, you'll blah blah blah, browsing the internet, doing whatever I want, and think, oh I need to upload something to files with FileZilla. So I have to go to FileZilla. So what I need to do is click this button, scroll away along to the right hand side, and then find find the icon and click it, and it takes me back to this interface. Which well, just seems like a waste of time. I would rather there was an actual option out here that said file like programs and then FileZilla, like there is currently. But yeah, so that's a bit of a pain. All, however, if you open apps like Internet Explorer, they all work fine normally like this. You know, they work just like normal Windows applications. However, if I were to Internet Explorer from this interface, it's otherwise. So you can see my website here, and it works, you can browse the site. However, there's a bit of a flaw. This is designed for tablets. So if I wanted to actually get into the address bar or something, I actually have to press a key on the keyboard. So it's the menu key, which is on the right hand side of your keyboard, um, in the bottom row. And if you press that, doesn't even do anything. Oh, there we go. Um, it now opens up the controls in the browser. So yeah, you can open a new tab, for example, and that'll do. If I want to say open something from here, I have no idea. Just open my website again, and it works. And you have to use this to switch between them. And you can close them like that. However, the flaw is that you're constantly going back to the keyboard. If you're browsing the internet, just happily clicking away with your mouse, you've always got to go back in using their keyboard to try and do this. It's a bit of a pain. A lot of apps are like this. For example, they have a lot of games here, all of which are touch based. So if I say I want to paint play, yes, my beautiful artwork, <laughs> um, again, it's all touch based. And switch between apps, you can, I've not actually worked out how to close apps. Excuse me, I cannot actually work out how to close an app in this. But you can switch between them if you swipe from the left of the screen. It switches between all my previously used apps. And these are the apps I have actually been running here since I installed the system. Since I, no, since I booted the system up. So you can't really switch between them that well. It's, you know, there's too many apps. It's just like, it's just you can't close them. It's just not as nice. I like having a taskbar. The Windows key takes you back to here and then back between your previous app. Go to the desktop. Again, you've got the desktop here. And you've got all the stuff. So, you, yeah, it's just like Windows 7, apart from the start menu. Now, obviously, this is still a pre release version, developer release. It's very, very basic, very, very early. 
So what I really hope Microsoft do is make this so there is a regular start menu with regular programs in it. Because having to do this every time is a real pain and it would honestly keep me from upgrading. If they do fix it and you can set this to come up by default with regular desktop and made a few good changes to the system, I might, I would probably upgrade to it. But they really need to change this. However, if you want to download it, I have put a link in the description to Microsoft's site where you can download this and try it out and get a good little taste of what Windows 7 is like. Windows 8 is like, not 7. Windows, what Windows 8 is like. So, yeah, so that's it. Um, it needs a lot of work, but it's pretty cool. And if this was on a tablet, it would be great. But not as good as on a PC. On a PC. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also visit my website at CameronGray.me.